Hi, my name is Tara and on behalf of FontBundles.net I'll be showing you today how to create a stencil using Silhouette Studio and um, a font from the Auction Style Bundle at FontBundles.net. The first thing you will need to do is to type what you would like to write in your stencil. I'm going to be making a library bag for my daughter, so I'm going to be using her name. So I need to type her name there and I'd like it to be centered. Once you've got what you would like to make the stencil, you then need to change the font. I'm going to be using the Honey Bunny style font, so I go to text style and I type in Honey Bunny and you can see it comes up there. I will click on that and as you can see it is a, a rough type of font. If I fill that in and show you you can see that it kind of looks very um, hand painted um, and as this is going on my daughter's library bag um, and she's five I think this will be really cool to put on her library bag so it looks like she's done it herself so I'm going to take the line color and put that back to what it was so we can go back to how we were once you've written what you need, one of the things you need to remember when you make a stencil is you need to ensure that there are gaps in between each letter because when you peel off the stencil vinyl and place it onto your fabric or the medium you're going to be using, if there is too thin a gap between each one, it's going to bleed into each other. So to do this, we need to select our words. We need to go down and ungroup. And you can see now that I have ungrouped everything. I'm going to zoom in so I can get a better look and I'm going to move everything across lightly so I have a larger gap in between each letter. This won't affect the um, visual appeal of the um, words when you apply it to your, um, your product whether it be a library bag or um, paper, card, whatever you're using. Um, you won't really notice this at all but for the purposes that we're using today we have to do this as I said so um, they don't bleed into each other. So the easiest way to move everything across is to use your arrow keys so I'm going to move that one across a little bit and continue to do that on all of the letters. I'm going to do the same thing again with my um, the surname and this does make a big difference to the finished look of your um, project because the worst thing that can happen is when you use things like screen inks which we're going to use today is um, if it bleeds and it goes blurry okay so once you've done that have a quick look and make sure you're happy with where everything is, it doesn't look too far apart. I'm going to move those in a little bit. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then select them all and group them back. Now, another thing to remember when you're creating a stencil is you need a, la a fair amount of gap around the word. Now, as my stencil material is only A4 in width, I'm actually going to turn this so I'm going to go up to rotate and turn on a 90 degree angle and I'm doing that specifically so that I have a lot of space on left and right side of my writing and on top of that I'm going to actually put an excess of vinyl at the top and the base as well so when I place this onto my library bag the, if there's any issues with me getting um, the screen ink not on the letters, it's only going to go back onto the vinyl, it's not actually going to go onto the um, fabric itself. So I'm going to put that, that that way, I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger to fit and then it's in the middle and I'm going to place my 9 inch width of vinyl in the middle there. Now I'm going to be using Silhouette Stencil Vinyl which comes with a transfer material as well but you can use regular vinyl for this technique and then use something like masking tape or even 
you know, um, book contact as the transfer medium. So once you've done that, you just need to click and go to Center Silhouette. And you can go to Adjust, adjust Settings. If you're using the um, Silhouette brand stencil material, there is actually a um, preset setting for that. But if you're, don't, you're not using that and you're using vinyl, I would recommend that you go to a setting of two and you go to a cut level thickness of about 15 or 16. Please though, whenever you're doing anything like this, um, make sure you do a test cut first. Um, and if you do a test cut, then you know that you're cutting at the right depth. Please um, have a look at the rest of the blog post and you'll see how to apply the reactive um, screening medium because we're actually gonna use one that we can foil. Um, and you'll see the end product as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and keep an eye out for further blog posts. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.